All right, welcome back everybody. Today I got another crossbow arrow video for you. We're gonna take a look at the new for 2024, the Killer Instinct Killer Tech Arrow. So stay tuned. All right, real quick, let's take a little bit closer look at kind of just some of the specs and how this arrow is set up, the, uh, the Killer Instinct Killer Tech. So, First things first, this is a carbon composite arrow. So a little bit different, um, you know, material composition for this arrow. It's not 100% carbon from what I gathered. It's kind of a, a carbon and, and resin mix. And I think, I haven't taken one completely apart, but I think that composition is where you get a little bit more weight uh, distributed throughout the entire shaft. Not 100% on that, but that's what I've gathered uh, just from kind of understanding what the, the carbon composite part means. So you might have to check me on that, but that's what I got from it. Anyways, they're a 20-inch arrow. They're going to come with half-moon knocks, standard ID and OD, so a 300 ID, 348 OD, and with a 100-grain field point, they're coming in at 430 grains. They do have a 5,000th uh, straightness tolerance, and... They are fletched with a three inch vein, uh, very similar profile to that of like the Fusion Q2i X2s that I really like. Uh, so I really like this vein and it does have some offset. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks to me like it's either a half degree or one degree. I don't know for sure, but good vein setup on it. These are exactly what I like to shoot. I actually really like this too. Just a, another you know, indicator on the odd feathers um, that just says, make sure you put this one down. And I'm gonna load it up with my usual 150 grain points. So we're gonna shoot this setup at 480 grains. So I guess a little backstory, you guys. Uh, these arrows I did, just to be perfectly transparent, I did get these from Killer Instinct for free to test out. Um, and this is a setup that I'm actually doing for my wife. So she is a hunter, she just hasn't hunted in a couple of years. Um, really since our son was born and now that he's getting a little bit older and, and he can tag along with us, um, it's time to, time to get mom back in the woods and get her a deer. And a lot of the other arrows that I set up and that I like, and that you guys have seen here, I can even, I can even grab one for you. You know, I like to fletch them all white when I build them. And I just put those little Sharpie marks on it for which vein is my odd, you know, my odd vein, my odd feather down. My wife doesn't really like that she would rather have it just be a little easier a little more what she's used to and have it be the actual odd colored feather down um and so i didn't really have uh anything to uh to set up for other than if i was going to reflect some stuff and then i remembered that i had these and then i've been meaning to test these out so first thing i did just like i do with everything else is i wanted to shoot them through paper and i wanted to do kind of that easy simple crossbow arrow tune which we did a video on uh, a little while ago but it, it's been one that's gotten some really good views and really this is one that's it's more of a instead of a tuning it's more of a sorting process so if you uh, need more context as far as what i did check out the link down below to that video and it will kind of explain it a little bit better but basically what we did we took all six arrows and we shot them through paper we shot them at five yards and we just ranked them we ranked them one through five based on how they uh, tore through paper. And we had, you know, a very clear, um, you know, number one and number two. Um, number three wasn't quite as good. And then we had three others, um, you know, that became practice arrows just because of the, the tears that they had. So we didn't do any knock tuning. Um, we simply just, just sorted them. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, um, these, these did well especially for an arrow um, coming in at this price point, an arrow that's a 5,000 straightness and a little bit different material composition, you know, to, to really have three out of your six be legit hunting arrows uh, with no tuning, just straight up shooting them odd feather down and sorting them um, to have three that are going to work just fine with fixed blade broadheads and another three for practice arrows. That's perfect. That's exactly what we were looking for. After that, we went ahead we uh, re-sighted in uh, the Vital X 430. That's going to be the bow for her. And her 
first shot at 40 yards. Not bad, not bad at all, just a little bit high. Um, adjusted our optics a little bit and second shot at 40 yards was absolute money. So after getting it sighted in, after knowing what our hunting arrows were, what our practice arrows were, um, time to shoot some broadheads. So what she's going to be shooting are the uh, Magnus Black Hornet, the Serrazer version, and the 150 grains. So this is a broadhead um, that a lot of my friends have used. You know, it's one that I haven't used, but I really, I really like it. And we're going to do a, uh, a separate video on those here coming up. Um, but we put, you know, a Magnus Black Hornet on arrow number one, and we shot it out at 40 yards. Um, and as you guys can see here in the footage, it did just fine. See how we did here. Looks like it's just a little high. So my target's getting kind of chewed up. So I ripped off just a little piece of tape and I put it in the middle of those top two dots. You guys will see it when we get up here, but that's what I was aiming at. And this is at 40 yards. So not bad. I mean, we're just a little high and a little left, but we can, uh, we can make an adjustment for that. It's also a little breezy. I was trying to time it up uh, to not be be too windy when I shot it. It looked like the arrow flew just fine. I didn't see it wobbling when it was uh, when it was flying. So we might just make a minor optic adjustment. And we should be dialed in. I apologize, you guys. My camera um, for the rest of the broadhead uh, setup and, and and tuning, or I guess more just verifying. Um, my phone, I guess I should say, not really my camera, but my phone ran out of batteries um, and I was just kind of pressed to get this setup done. So you guys are going to have to take my word for it, I guess, on the broadheads, but they they flew fine. I mean, the very first shot was fine. The subsequent shots, they were also fine. We made just some really minor optic adjustments. We basically got, you know, a 480 grain setup for her um, that is flying excellent out to... 40 yards, which is going to be kind of her range. And, you know, we've got an absolute slammer of a head on the front of it. So I was really impressed with these arrows, you guys. Um, I think this is a really good option. And it's a really good option if you guys have watched the channel before where we're talking about some heavier crossbow setups. You know, this one is a heavier one. It's a heavier one from the factory at that 430 grains with a 100 grain tip. And then if you bump it up, um, to just a 150 grain point, like I like to shoot, or like you see in a lot of other videos, you're at that 480 grain mark. Um, if you if you were to shoot a lighted knock, granted that's going to change your forward of center a little bit, but you're going to be almost 500 grains um, straight from Killer Instinct. So I think really, you guys, for the price that they are, for how they performed, how they printed through paper, how they shot with a broadhead, all of the type of stuff that I want to see and have confidence in shooting a fixed blade broadhead, shooting it out, you know, to reasonable and, and sometimes long crossbow hunting ranges. These, these killer tech arrows, um, they performed really, really well. So definitely check them out. You guys, if you're looking for that heavier setup, um, but you don't want to build it yourself or you don't really want to spend a bunch of money, but you still just want a good arrow that you're going to be confident in. This one seems to fit the bill. So check them out if you're looking for a really good setup at a really good price. That's what I've got for you guys today. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys soon on the next video. Take care. God bless. And remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.